Maddie and Dustin with TerryFamilyAdventures.com. Today we are cleaning bounce houses from the previous weekend that go out next weekend. But uh, this one is a little severe, but a lot of them do come back this muddy. So we just wanted to give you a rundown on ones that come back that aren't really all that clean. And the kids had fun, so that's the main thing. Rain did come through the night of their party, and we left it out there overnight, picked it up the next morning. But as you can see, this one is super muddy. So we're just gonna walk you through a step-by-step -step process on how to clean a super muddy bounce house. Enjoy. So first, we're gonna start by power washing all this gunk off. I mean, it, the kids had fun in this one. Yeah. She's pretty muddy. Give you a peek on what the inside looks like. We're gonna clean her up. We're gonna kinda take you along with us in the cleanup process. Enjoy. turned into a way bigger job than we really anticipated so I think it's gonna turn into a two-day job so we'll probably have to finish it up tomorrow and I'll show you what I mean it ain't really the mud and the grime that's gonna do it but I've got 12-hour days all week at work and Maddie's got to go to work so we're gonna have to finish it up tomorrow we got a giant hole right here it comes separated. You can see all the way down in there. It stays inflated, but we still need to get it patched up because kids will get their foots caught in there and it'll rip off and turn into a bigger problem. So we got to get it fixed. Maddie's going to finish cleaning inside here, inside the bounce house. Then we got to sanitize inside the bounce house. But we'll probably have to finish this video up tomorrow. See you then. Well, it's day two. We are back at it. This thing was filthy. I mean, we cleaned on and cleaned on and cleaned on it all day yesterday, or all morning that is. And it's still crappy.
So now we are going to attempt to stitch this thing up. We aren't the best at stitching, but we have stitched a little bit on the inside of these baffles and ripple things inside here. So we're going to attempt to stitch this step back up with this needle and thread and I have to crawl in here while Maddie stays out here I'll have to crawl inside the bottom of this bounce house through that stay tuned Okay, we're all done with the stitch job. Like I said, we're not professionals, but guess what? There's no more hole now. No more hole, no more air blowing out here. Still need a little cleaning to do, but we're gonna clean it. The stitch job is done. And that's how you fix holes on a budget. That, that needle and thread cost us I think it cost us like 26 30 dollars and it was we even had a coupon on Amazon that we used with it Amazon gave us a coupon we got it here in two days with Amazon Prime and we stitched up the middle there was a little hump in it and we stitched it back to the baffle it was unstitched from the baffle inside we fixed it up last week and now we took it out this previous weekend and had that happen. So uh, we fixed that for 30 bucks. I don't know what it would have cost to repair it if you'd have sent it off or took it to a professional, but might have looked better, but same result. Putting the finishing touches on it, vacuuming out all the water and all the loose dirt and grass. Gonna vacuum out the pool, get the dry down going, and then roll it up. And this one will be ready to go out this weekend. It was a process getting this thing clean. I mean, we even found shards of glass in this thing yesterday. I don't know what they did, but uh, I guess I'm glad everybody had fun at the end of the day. But this is by far the worst we've ever had to clean. By far. From glass to the thing being caked in mud as you've seen at the beginning of the video. From rolling it up to begin with in a mud hole. To glass to the rip over here in this stair. It was a process, but we got her done. 
And that's how you do it. It is now all clean. Justin had to go to work. And it's about to start raining, so I'm gonna go ahead and tear this thing down, roll it up. That way we can start getting another one out tomorrow and start cleaning.